Wave that green victory towel. The Bobcats wave their towel past the boys from Red Towel territory. Ohio wins 89-84 over the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius joins me. Our post-game report is supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. We expected this one to be a good game because of the setup of Jordan Dardis out for the Bobcats and the way that Western Kentucky had been playing. Two votes in the AP poll, wins over Purdue and SMU. I think the prevailing logic would have been if it was going to be a blowout, it would have been on the other side. But wow, the final score not indicative of the stranglehold that Ohio had on this one. No, Ohio led this game really by double figures to the Balkan League, got out to the high teens. And again, you had two squads that were short on bodies, frankly, had some foul trouble, especially on the western side. But getting out to this pace, being 170 points plus, and being right here with the big Ohio win, a little of the surprise some folks. Only seven or eight guys generally play for Western Kentucky, and that was further exacerbated by the fact that Lamonte Bearden, former Buffalo Bull, got a technical foul early on and that threw everything off. And what Ohio was able to do that way was inflate the lead to double digits. It got down to 12 at halftime. Yep, and for Ohio, though, getting Bearden off the floor was critical. Ends up with just 12 minutes, minimal scoring, and he's a guy who, frankly, has a speed that's even greater than Tavion Kirks. Having him off the floor really changed the way Ohio was able to defend and control this game's pace. Ohio had a bunch in double figures here. The Bobcats had five in double figures. 23 for Mike Laster, 17 for Kevin Mickle, 17 for Tavian Kirk, 13 13 and a career high for James Gullen and Jason Carter back. He had 12. Yeah, Gullen visited, visited us in the pregame. He had nine in a row in the second half and a really key stretch for Ohio. But I'll tell you something, the efficient game from Mike Laster on his 23 points. And Kevin Mickle, catch what Coach said in the postgame, wasn't really sure what his role was the last four years of his college career. Well, this year he's become a go-to guy for the Ohio Bobcats, and it's so good to have another big on the floor that can play. How about some highlights with the radio call in there, huh? Here's how it looked and sounded. Block on the right wing for Ohio. Post entry, Laster, turn, shoot, scores. On a back door, one bounce, reverse layup, blocked away. Ohio picks it up. Throws out of it, now to the top. Driving to the foul line, Nelson hands it off to Colby, and it's stolen away. Here comes Ohio. Throws over to the right side, Kirk. Shot fake, now he'll step in. Teardrop as he ran over Johnson, and he scores. It's 44-38. Laster breaks all the way down the floor. Euro step in that green lane and laid it in. Media timeout coming, blocked to the foul line, shoots and scores. Left side, Mickle dribbles all the way into the lane, bodies with Johnson, left hand hook, crawls over the iron and down. Dribbled away from defenders, now it's Kirk, runs down the lane and banked it in. Gullen right side, stops and dribbles up to the point. Terminates the dribble and goes back door to Laster who lays it in while on the right. On the left side, it's Mickle. I mean, it's been a frustrating day. Drive into the post, Laster skates free of his defender underneath with a little contact, reverse layup, yes, and he flexes. Block on the left side, to the foul line, it's Carter. Into the post, Laster, back to the bucket, and he laid it in. Back to the bucket on Johnson, left-hand hook, rolls in. Carter dribbles to the foul line, low block right, banked it up and in. This came at the perfect time, too, because you're starting to get to finals time for Ohio athletics, and student athletes have to balance the books and playing, so now you have a couple of days to hit those books, take those exams, and get ready for Marshall coming up on Saturday. Yep, the guys will test the next three or four days, but here's the cool thing, that Marshall game, the time's been pushed back to 8 o'clock, if not maybe slightly behind it, and Huntington to miss their bowl game. What it means is the team will get another night in their own beds, will not be traveling to Huntington the night before. Yeah, 8 o'clock from the Cam Henderson Center, we're on the air at 7.30 as we bring the Bobcats and the Herd to you. This was a pretty good one. You beat a team that beat Purdue and SMU and a team that got some votes in the AP Top 25 poll for the first time in a bunch of years. Two classic mid-major programs in Ohio can savor this flavor. Yep, you beat a really good team. It'll be in the top two, three, or four probably in Kanye to say the end of the year, just like Marshall. We'll see how that one goes Saturday. Five and four on the season now. 89-84, the final score. Ohio wins over Western Kentucky. For Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. We're presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. And this is Bobcat TV.